For today's project, I'm going to be showing you how to make these Easter egg candlesticks. If you are planning on making all three candlesticks, you are going to need the following. Nine plastic pre-decorated eggs. We purchased ours from a local craft store. Six four by four pieces of wood also purchased at a local craft store. Three five sixteenth inch dowels. Three colors of craft paint or spray paint. I have chosen the colors purple lilac, lime sorbet, and think pink. You're going to need a drill with a 5 16 inch drill bit and three loop flower bows. For instructions on how to make this flower, click on the link below. For today, I will only be showing you how to make one candlestick. Your first step is to take your four by four piece of wood, measure and find the center Drill approximately three-fourths of the way through so that you have a hole for your dowel. When you're drilling your hole, you want to make sure that you go straight up and down the best that you can so that your dowel will sit straight up and down. After you've drilled your holes, you want to just lightly sand the pieces of wood. They're basically pre-sanded already, but there are a few rough edges. Once you have your wood sanded, and the holes drilled, you can now glue your dowel into one of, the, one of the holes on one side. You also want to check your dowel and make sure that it's pretty straight. Some of them I've noticed have been really curved and bent and you want to use one that's as straight as possible. And you also want to hold it in place so that it stands up straight long enough for the glue to dry. While that dries, I'm going to start painting the top piece of my candlestick holder. Now that this has had time to dry and the dowels in there good and tight, I'm going to paint this as well as the dowel. You want to make sure that you coat both pieces of wood and the dowel with two coats of paint. And don't forget that on your top piece of your candlestick that you want to paint both sides. So you're going to paint underneath it and you also need to paint on top, which I will do after two coats have dried on this side. So while the wood is drying, I'm going to show you how I put the candle together. The first thing I'm going to do is heat seal the edge of my ribbon that I'm going to use to tie around the candle. All I do is wrap the ribbon around just to get a measurement and then I cut my ribbon and then I'm going to heat seal the other side. Just place it on the candle where you want and all you need to do is just glue it on there. Then all I'm going to do is just glue my flower on top to hide the seam. Once your wood is dry and not tacky to the touch, you can take a piece of sandpaper and sand the edges of your wood just to give it a worn look. This is optional. I did it with mine, but if you'd rather not do that, of course you don't have to. Once your edges are sanded and your wood's painted, then we are able to add the eggs to the dowel. I've already drilled holes in mine, but all you're going to do is take your 5 16 drill bit that I used to drill the holes in the wood and you're going to drill a hole on the top and you're going to drill a hole on the bottom. Once the holes are all drilled, then you can add them to your dowel just by sliding them on. Now that all of my eggs are on the dowel, I'm going to cut the remaining dowel off. The hole I drilled is just under a half of an inch deep. So I'm going to just estimate on this about a half of an inch up, a little less than half of an inch. And I'm just going to cut it off using some wire cutters. And to do this, you wanna just kinda of go around the dowel in a circle. Okay, once I've cut off the excess of your dowel, you're just going to glue your top part on. Just push it on there tight. And if you want to make sure that it's 
square with the bottom, lay it on its side. Hold it in place for a minute until the glue dries. When everything is finished, I would highly recommend spraying your finished product with a clear coat of paint spray. This one that I've already finished has a clear coat. It just protects the paint and gives it a nice finish. Once you've done that and you've allowed time for it to dry, just add your candle and you're all done.